Hello, welcome to lesson number two here in Mastering Java Volume 4. We're going to continue working with arrays, but we're going to, in this case, use loops to go through the elements of an array. And that's very useful, especially if your array is large. I mean, if you have two or three elements of an array, it's not a big deal just to access them individually. But if you have a thousand elements of an array or five thousand elements of, a, of an array, you're probably going to go build a loop of some kind to go index and rip through that array and, and find whatever it is you're trying to find. Um, so let me show you sort of how to do that. If I wanted to create an array, uh, let's say it's going to hold um, decimal information, it would be doubles. Let's say that it's going to hold the grades of a class. And let's say I have a small class for the purposes of this discussion here. So I would have a double and I'll call it grades. And the brackets tell Java that this is an array. And I'll, on the right hand side, I will specify the grades here in the beginning just, just for some variety. I'll, I'll type the grades in. So let's say the grade is 96.5. Um, 98.7, 99.3, 88.4, 88.6, and let's just say 90.1, something like that. Just a, just a few elements. We have one, two, three, four, five, six elements. That means this is element zero, this is element five. So element zero, element one, two, three, four, five. That's how we're going to index it here. We can see we don't have any errors or anything, so we'll assume that this array is properly created, uh, assign these values in memory, and so on. So um, what if I wanted to print these to the screen? I mean, we have done this many times before, and in those cases, we put separate print statements. Well, that's kind of cumbersome. Um, what we want to basically do is, is let's just print those to the screen using a loop. So let's go ahead and create a loop variable. Typically, we'll need a loop variable of some kind, so we'll call it i. And let's create a loop to rip through these guys, and we'll say i is equal to 0. The reason we're setting it equal to 0 is because